Hey, what's happening guys? Let's say you've got something like for instance this lamp here and this one happens to have a little inline switch to turn it on and off but you want to control it remotely well it's not hard and we've done videos on it before you know with something like this which is the old uh, ESP 8266 right there the ESP8266 chip which is an Arduino compatible microcontroller with built-in Wi-Fi and you know you hook it up to a relay a little bit of programming and you can control that light from anywhere you want but what if you don't want to do that what if you don't want to get into all the programming and everything else that goes with it you just want to be able turn this light on from somewhere else are there ways to do it are there ways to do it cost effectively the answer is yes yes there is and that's what we're going to get into today we are going to talk about this right here the sawn off i'm sure a lot of you guys are really familiar with this and how it works and if that's you no hard feelings feel free to skip over this video and watch one of my 300 or so other videos but if you'd like to learn a little bit more about the sawn off stick around because that's what we're going to do okay so here is a good close-up view of our sawn off which as you can see is a wi-fi smart switch and let's get some measurement in here there you go. Oh, you can't see that. You'd probably like to see it. For those of you of the metric persuasion. And for my American friends, you can see size wise just about how big it is. Not very big at all. In fact, um, if you wanted to control an outlet, and put this in a dual gang box it would most certainly fit so if we take these covers off and first of all this is the input on the left and the output is on the right we take the covers off and you can see there are a couple of terminal blocks here and that's all that you have to deal with if you want to hook this up to control something for instance this light and that's what we're gonna do but let's get a, a closer look in here and understand better how it works all right there's our void if warranty remove sticker and this should just pop right apart here there we go so here is the device itself and if we zoom in here on the back I'll bring this up real close see how close we can get her to focus there no no right there there you go you can see it is an ESP 8266 board and while we're looking at the back look at the size and thickness of those tracks somebody has taken the time to lay down some extra solder and while this video is going to be a basic video on how to get it operating if you look here there's some test points there's some spots here where we can solder in some header pins and do some stuffs so what do we have going on here well like we said we have our ESP8266 on the back. We have one, two terminal blocks. We have a relay. We have a small transformer, MOV, a couple of capacitors, a switch, an LED, and a little 
eight pin chip focus there you guys can probably see what it is before I can anyway let's go back and take a look at what we've got going on from our input and our output now if you follow the tracks are they labeled yeah okay so this is neutral and this is live live is okay am I losing my mind here live is to the outside that's live well it looks like our live is going straight through from one side to the other and we're switching the neutral okay well I guess that kind of makes sense so these terminal blocks are isolated from our little control and switching software we have one button to control it and do our setup and everything and an LED to show its state so let's put this together and get it working okay my mistake here I had it upside down as you can see it goes in in this direction here which means the live is on the bottom and the neutral is the one that goes across and we are switching the live so I'm just gonna put it back into its box here and we'll snap it back together nothing to it all right so next we need to prepare our light all right the sawn off is a 10 amp unit so before we go hacking into the wire in our light I've got it plugged into the old kilowatt here power it up and we are pulling 208 milliamps just want to make sure that we're not going to overload the device and 208 milliamps is just fine all right so we've got to cut the wires as you can see I've made sure everything is unplugged here and that little guy riveted there huh hmm I was going to do it there but since it's riveted I guess we can do it someplace else no problem all right we're going to cut the wire right about here and what I'm going to do is just make a mark on that wire that silver is not so easy to see is it Let's grab some black there we go just so that we can distinguish our live from our neutral and then we'll cut it and I'm gonna strip these wires you don't need to watch me do that all right I stripped about a half an inch of insulation from those wires and the next thing I'm gonna do is tin them is tinning them a hundred percent necessary not a hundred percent no but I like to tin things it lets me know that the wires aren't going to untwist cause any problems and it makes for easier access into those small little holes because I'm probably also going to trim them so that just enough sticks out and no more now I know I'm taking this really slowly really step by step but I'm really making this video for guys who uh, don't know how to do this and want to do it safely and you know we are dealing with mains voltages here possibly lethal so if you're uncomfortable doing this or if you're unsure consult somebody who knows an electrician an electrical engineer 
you know, somebody who is feels safe in working around uh, mains voltages. If you don't, if you do, yeah, you're fine. Okay, so we're going to start with the input side, our line side here. All you need to do is loosen the screws in the terminal blocks. I'm going to shorten these guys up here so that we don't have too much sticking out. Bing! They're shooting all over the place. Okay, and our live side is the smooth side. So that goes in there. Gonna have to loosen it up a little bit more. There we go. Tighten her down good and tight. And the neutral goes in the other part. Now with the solder on there, it is a bit of a tight fit, but to be quite honest with you, that is exactly what I want. All right, so we have both the line and the load wired up. The next thing we need to do are put on these covers, which have these little corrugated strain reliefs to hold the wires down. And the sawn off comes with a nice little packet of screws. So there's no worry there. Now these screws don't have brass inserts or anything, so you don't want to tighten them down too tight. Just enough. <laughs> How do you know when just enough is just enough? Well, like my grandma used to say when you ask her, how long do you need to cook something? Till it's done. The wisdom of the elders, right? Gotta love it. You want it to tighten up. I'm using a small screwdriver here so I can't apply too much torque. You definitely don't want to strip out that plastic. So there we go. Our sawn off is all wired up. And our next step is to plug it in and hope she don't blow up. Okay, so let me turn out the lights here so you guys can see that LED blink in there. All right, can you see it? That was in its uh, regular state. Now, the next thing that you need to do is download an app for your phone called EWE Link, U Link, I guess. I guess that's a female sheep link. And you need to log in and or register. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so I've logged in and you can see it says, there are no devices paired. Tap the add device button below to begin pairing. All right, so now it says, press and hold the pairing button for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're getting a fast blink there. And you can see it's showing us the little fast blink symbol there. Bulb or LED strip. Please turn on and off for three times. Okay. Next. Now it wants me to enter my Wi-Fi credentials, which I will do. Okay, so now it is in pairing mode. Please make sure your phone and model are closer enough. Yeah, they're close enough. Okay, found the device connecting to the server. Registering. And complete. Now we can name it. 
I'll just call this um, lamp. Lamo. No, it's not Lamo, it's lamp. There we go. Complete. Added successfully. Device is connecting to Wi Fi. It may take a few minutes. Okay. So we've got a solid green light. Let's bring in the light. Here we go. Press the button. And must not be connected to Wi Fi just yet. We'll give it a minute. Okay, just had to give it a second. And we hit the button. The light is on, and you can see here it says on. Off is off. And if we come over here, there's some other functions. Let me move the light out of the way and zoom in here a bit. So if we touch the timer, you can see we can set this up to come on and off whenever we want. Once, repeat, turn on, turn off. So you can have this come on at night, turn off in the morning, absolutely however you want it. But all in all, you can see how absolutely simple that was to work. And yes, it will work from outside your network because the Sonoff device is working on that U-Link network. So that's pretty cool right there, if you ask me. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all of my patrons. The sawn off was bought with Patreon money. That's it. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>